Well, everybody, welcome back to Jacko's Cards on YouTube. We are here. It is Friday evening, March, I believe the 12th of March. We are back at Great American Ballpark for the Reading Phillies versus the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. It's the J Jays AA. Um, so this is where I parked last time. And I made a critical error by not leaving early. Um, I literally just got here game time, or excuse me, first pitches in about 15 or like five minutes so i'm not even in the stadium yet i have my ticket um so that was a big mistake on my part traffic was horrible um i my gps was absolutely pathetic um it really screwed me up but i mean good to see a night of baseball so hopefully we'll be waiting out there you guys can see the gates hopefully a little, little later on um we well, yeah, after the game um i'll be Getting some autographs. We've got our Elvis Martinez from the Blue Jays and also um, Ricky Teedman from the Blue Jays. Um, so hopefully we'll get their autographs later on. This evening right there is where the gate is. Uh, Mick Abel is um, pitching for the Phillies. So I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if he'll sign or not. He says he only signs with easy pitches. So maybe after, maybe during fireworks, we'll get his autograph. But yeah, I'll let you know when I'm inside and hopefully it'll be a good game. All right, so we're finally in the stadium after an awful GPS time. We've got Mick Abel on the mound for the Phillies. I've seen him pitch once for last year. And he says he only signs when he pitches, so. There was a good chance he would have signed before the game. Um, and obviously I got here late, so it's already one nothing. That's not good. Um, but it is it is absolutely packed here tonight. Um, it's probably going to be quite some time to get out of here. I'm, I'll obviously be here a lot later than most people trying to get autographs. But yeah, you guys can just see how packed it is. Um, yeah, there's fireworks. I didn't know that. So more than likely, I probably won't be taking many videos of the game. Probably won't be uh, filming too much. I'll just enjoy the game. Um, if anything good happens or if I walk around a little bit, um, I might take a couple videos. But we'll try to get some available. Um, but yeah, it won't, it won't be that long of a video like I normally would if there was less people and if I was walking around. So obviously, we'll show prospects and stuff later on if we get cards signed. But yeah. Um, it is packed. You can see all the people down left field, all the people out in left center. I don't, I don't know what I would have done with the buffet tonight. It would have been crazy with the uh, getting the buffet tonight. Probably a huge line. So I'll probably end up just moving down as far as seats. I'll try to sit somewhere down there later. Um. It is pretty cool seeing this packed house. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's kind of like CBP. It's not really, but there's the new place out in right. I'll just watch Mick Abel for a minute or two here. It is 83 degrees right now, so it is pretty hot out, but it's a nice night. Mick's got a lot of eyes on him. I don't really think, I'm, I don't think a lot of people here really know he's the number two prospect. I'm sure some do. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are just here solely for the fireworks, which is fine. Um, that's great, good for them. Uh -oh. Well, Abel already is allowed to run, unfortunately. We didn't get the lineups, I should have gotten those. I'm just gonna film to the end of this. I don't know, no, we only got one out, that's not good. So. I'm pretty sure I sat 
close to, if not this seat, last time I was here, so. Hopefully those people down there will leave later on in the game, or I can move down the sixth, seventh or eighth inning, hopefully some will clear out, because um, I definitely want to try to be there for autographs after. I doubt Abel will sign after the game. There's a good chance he won't. I should also note that um, I'm trying to hold the camera straight, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but I know my content's a little bit uh, funky as far as having the camera with the selfie stick, so um, I'm just holding it straight up and down, so hopefully it's better quality for you guys. I haven't checked the lineup for the uh, for Reading, so I'm not sure who's who's hitting. We'll see, we'll have to wait and see later on. Ninety-eight from Mick Abel. That's a good sign. Hopefully, get to see him at CBP someday. Probably, maybe next year. Seems like he keeps throwing in, and he walked him. Yeah, so not not the best start for Abel. All right, we'll be back shortly, probably a little bit later. So I'll enjoy the game and I'll film. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, I'm literally right. I'm literally right back. We've got Orelvis Martinez, the Blue Jays, I think number three prospect. This is one of the guys that we're trying to get his autograph from later on. So hope to uh, hope to see him later on. Martinez with a three-run home run for the Fisher Cats. Well, Abel's given up four runs to start. Short shot number one, Louisville Santos. Yeah, Mick might not. I think last time he didn't make it through the first inning. That's really unfortunate for him. Um, Martin has hit a uh, home run. That's pretty cool to see. He's not on the MLB Top 100. He was last year. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I'll try to get his autograph later. Hopefully I will. Take a look at first energy mission for a weather update for the 69 News first edition. There is Mick Abel. Rough first for him. There goes Ethan Wilson. Philly's prospect. Here is Ethan Wilson. I think he's number seven or eight for the Phillies right now. They're prospects. He's a Sheets RBI guy. That's cool. So maybe he'll get an RBI. We'll hope to get his autograph sometime this summer. We've still got 10 games left after tonight that we can come to, so. Not like I won't be here again. We've got the crazy hot dog vendor on the field. It's a Reading tradition. Rides an ostrich. This is kind of like the fanatics, uh, um, hot dog thing. 
No chance. That's the nurse packing crazy Hector Pender. Visiting now for free autographs at the Auburn College Basket Now back for those boots are going to stay ready. Visiting here number five, Wendell. the dog. There he goes. Aralvis again with a home run earlier. Sun's finally going down. Feels pretty good out. Um, I don't see the temp at all. But we're almost at an hour, and we're only in the uh, top of the third inning. So this is going to be a long game. Plus fireworks. We're going to be here for a while. So that's fine. I don't know how long I'll stick around for the fireworks. I don't I don't really need to see the fireworks. I've seen them here before. Um, I'd rather uh, I'd rather get autographs. So we'll probably wait a little bit. Maybe try to get Abel. Maybe. Who knows? That's but we'll see. And apparently, Abel gave up some runs, and there will be a pitching change. We'll probably walk right here. Keep your eyes on Capital One's Venture X card throughout the video. Yeah, they scored three runs, so he's got an ERA of eight. That's not good. Um, I just got the team set from 2023, so hopefully we'll get some of those signed later. Tonight we got McGarry and... Um, McGarry and De La Cruz in the book. Ready for autographs later, so... I might wait till Abel comes out. If you guessed the Capital here. One Venture X card was in lot number three, you are correct. Capital One card holders to take advantage of great card holder benefits, visit MLB.com slash Capital One. Well, the game's kind of gotten out of hand. I would say it's 13-6 Fisher Cats. Martinez is up. That's a plus. Or Elvis. Um... I literally started up there, you guys can see up there, and uh, I keep just, I just literally just keep moving down on the right side, and you guys know I like this on the right side. Um, so Zarbnitsky is done, I think he gave up four or so runs, unfortunately. So tough night for him, tough night for Abel. Tough night for Zarbnitsky. Um, and tough night for Abel earlier, so Redding's going to need a seven-run a seven run rally over three innings. So we'll see. I doubt it, but uh, they'll be 0-2 when I'm here, though, so far this year. So that's a bummer, but sun's gone down. There's not sure who that guy is, but no, it's, it seems like it's cleared out a little bit, but there's still a lot of people here for fireworks after the game, so... We'll film a little bit later, but I'm just kind of um, enjoying the game tonight. I have moved down. Like I said, right there is where the dugout. So hopefully after the game we'll get De La Cruz, maybe Wilson. Um, I really hope I get Nick Abel, um, but we'll see. So I'll keep you posted. Some post-game fireworks. Reading lost. I think the final was 13-6. We do have Johan Rojas. I believe he's number four Phillies prospect right now. Finally got his autograph. I've asked him pretty much every game I've been here. He says no. Um, De La Cruz said he would sign after. Uh, Wilson said he... I didn't talk to Wilson, but no. We've got, we've got ten more games, so hopefully we'll get some. Uh, we're waiting for Ricky Tiedman and uh, Orelvis, Orelvis Martinez. 
um, after the game here outside. So it was a long game. Uh, probably about three-ish hours even the pitch clock. So it sounds like gunshots going on there, obviously, with the fireworks. It's pretty cool. Just watch it for a minute or two. Well, it was a very interesting evening here at First Energy Stadium. Uh, we got passed by by most of the art fills. Uh, we got a nice fireworks show. Um, I'm just opening my book here. I almost lost a Mick Abel card. That wouldn't have been good. Um, and thankfully, we did end up with four autographs. We got Ricky Tiedemann, who is the number 27 overall prospect on the MLB pipeline right now. We got three of those, that's nice. Nice of him to sign all three. And then I would say probably my hardest autograph I've ever gotten, Johan Rojas from the Phillies. He's, I believe, the number four prospect. That guy, he, or uh, people say he never signs. Um, I was sitting right by the dugout, smart move on my part. Made it right down to the dugout after the game and asked him to sign and he did. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then we got or Ar Elvis Martinez uh, walked right by Didn't sign for anybody, but no, it was a good night. I enjoyed the game uh, Reading lost 13 to 6 um, I got to give, give a couple kids uh, My sharpie so they could get their hat signed and all always nice to Let sir let younger kids get a chance to sign and stuff. Um, so yeah fun night at the game uh, more than likely I'll be back here next weekend uh, not exactly sure who's in town, but we will look forward to that. So once again, from Reading First Energy Stadium, uh, click on the videos at the end that pop up. They're not just there for show. I'd appreciate you guys if you if you, if you uh, click on those, really help out and watch. Go back and watch my other videos. I've done Reading, I've done Harrisburg, I've done Philly so far as well this year. So yeah, go back and watch those, and we will see you next time here on Jacko's Cards.